Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Blind. My name is Xenobolt. In the last episode, we got to the Wutai area and had our materia stolen by Yuffie. Gosh, that jerk. Stealing all of our stuff. How are we supposed to survive now? So, this time we are going to visit this town. I was going to explore, but I decided we'll visit the town first. Because I can. Hey! Alrighty, well, looks like it's a very, uh, very cultural town here. Let's start by going inside this building to see what is in here. Besides this girl trying to get her dad's attention who's contemplating life over a bowl of stew. Well, well, long time no see. What have you been up to? Let's see. What was your name? No, no, Gramps. This isn't anyone you know. This is just some stranger who barged into our house. Finally, someone calling out us for barging into people's houses. It's kind of rude of us, but, you know, we're just, we do it anyways because we don't really care. Anyways, what does this uh, girl have to say? Well, apparently nothing. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. Anyways, we can't go there, so we'll just head out of here. Very exciting. Um, let's see. Yuffie went that way, so we'll go to the right first, see what's here. I do like exploring towns before we advance the plot to see if anything is here. Life is like a river. It flows from the large ocean of life and eventually returns back to it. Wutai is a historical place. There are some very unusual things you here you should see. Unusual? Like your hair? No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, let's go into this place here. Oh my god, there are a bunch of cats. Holy crap, I am, you know what? This is kind of a, kind of scary. Um, why are there so many cats here? Who abandoned these cats here? Somebody, we must help them. Can we take them in our party? No, okay. This is the weirdest room. Like, I was, I don't know. I was not expecting there to be a bunch of cats here. Let's go and go into this uh, safe. Nope. Um, let's head out of here. I think. There we go. I couldn't get. I couldn't get out of there for a second there. So. Anyways, let's go up these fancy stairs and into this fancy or er, building. This is my house. Nobody gets in. Well, except for us trying to. Anyways, if uh, looks like we don't go to the map going that way. I was gonna see if that was a new screen, but. Anyway, since we can't enter that resident's house, let us go around the pillar and go in here. Oh, this is a weapon shop. Sorry, but we're entirely sold out now. What's this here? Ah, uh, no. That's a... A sample. Yeah, that's it. A sample. Sorry, but why don't you come? all come back here later? Anyways, let's talk to you. Sorry, listen, I... No, no, nothing. Never mind. Alrighty, it looks like this weapon shop is hiding something. Good for us to know for later. Let's go here and... Read the sign. Pub, Turtles Paradise, publicity flyers. Notice. Now having a publicity campaign, flyers will be posted all over the world. So make sure you look for our flyers that say Turtles Paradise. There's six in all. All. If you find them all, make sure to let the owner of Turtles Paradise know you can win a prize. All you have to do is read them. Please don't take them down or rip them up. Owner, Turtles Paradise. Well, that is something we will have to keep an eye out for. I do like reading flyers. They are very nice and useful. Not really. They're a waste of time, but I don't care. If we get stuff, you know, they're good. Yeah, yeah, you. How did you get here? Oh, the Turks. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Never mind. That, I guess, it's fate that brought us together. Get ready to die. Um. Okay. Elena, you talk too much. Whoa, whoa, what? What are we doing way out here in the middle of nowhere? Why does Elena's head look like a green... Like, bean? That is... 
I'm guessing that's supposed to be her hair, but it looks like it's a green bean on a polygonal body. What the heck? It's hard to take the scene seriously with that. Oh my goodness. The green bean Elena. We're taking a vacation and resting up from our work. Now, our vacation is ruined. But, but, but. Even the booze tastes bad now. Oh man, I hate when the booze tastes bad. So sorry. Don't worry, you guys will die later. Well, that's good. I don't have any materia to fight them with. Drink, rude. How long have we been a team? Being a Turk's been hard at times, but all in all, I'm glad I did it. After all, I got to meet a bunch of wing nuts like you. Yeah, that's that seems pretty cool. To the Turks, to Reno, cheers. Oh yeah, that's right, all the cheers. Anyways, let's talk to this guy here. The bar owner, the turtle paradise owner. Or we can't, but whatever. Hey, did you hear? There used to be a water god here in Wutai. They say the water god was a huge snake. Now we live in a world filled with Mako. Not many people would believe in something like that now. But some in the world and here in Mutai still believe. Believe in the scales of the water god and in materia that has its power in it. Was it, wait, didn't we get an item that was like water god's scales or something like that? Water scales? I don't know. Um, let's see. Dragon scales, that's what I was thinking of. Water damage on all opponents. That is the item that I was thinking we got from somewhere about um, about the water dragon. Anyways, the water dragon. He sounds very scary, and I am sure he will be a boss fight at some point. That seems like something this game would do. Anyway, so we got flyers to look out for in the overworld. I wonder how far that'll scale. Does that scale throughout the entire world, or is it just in this immediate Wutai area? I don't know. That's a good question. Anyways, um, hey, little kid, brat. All right, all right, all right, I know. On the side of the mountain right there, in your face is the chow. I hear you can climb to the top, but since it's dangerous, I'd be mighty careful if I were you. A girl with materia? No, there hasn't been anyone climbing the chow from, for some time now. You know, I've noticed that there's a pounding noise from time to time in this store. Um, a pounding noise? It sounds like they're doing you know certain deeds that you kitchen be listening to lord goto is in this house he used to be quite strong but now all he does is sleep hey that's all i did too anyway for some reason yuffie's had a fondness for materia ever since i can remember she's always hung around places she thought might have it i wonder i wonder if she knows this guy who sleeps and he she's trying to revise him She's trying to revive him or something like that. I'm sorry, the sign outside says Materia, but there's almost no Materia left anywhere in Wutai. Listen, this is just a backwards ta backwoods town. We don't have much to do with Shinra, and besides, if we had a lot of Materia, Wutai would be a much more exciting town, but we don't. Huh. It sounds like they're hiding Materia, though, based on the way they're talking about it. There's. Not a lot of materia. Speaking of materia, an MP absorb materia. And there's Yuffie, who stole it from us. Oh my goodness, Yuffie. Don't you have anything better to do with your life besides stealing my stuff? We got a lot of different stuff here. Take what you want. And yeah, they do not sell any, um, any materia here. But they do sell fire veils and swift bolts, which could come in handy without their materia. So we'll get five of those and five lightning attacks. And dexterity plus ten. Um, you know what? We'll pass on that for now. Anyways, let's head out of here. By the way, there was something I forgot in when we fought Lost Number. There was a key. I noticed this when editing the video. Unfortunately, when I tried to go back just to check if I could get it, I could not leave without materia. So, unfortunately for the time being, I will not be able to get that key and whatever the key holds. But we will go back at our earliest convenience to get there. That five-story pagoda over there is called the Pagoda of the Five Mighty Gods. 
The five gods are power, speed, magic, war, and omni. Omni has the best of the others. For generations, we in Wutai have worshipped Dachau the water god. Legend has it the village has been protected by Dachau the water god and the five mighty gods. But in the last battle, we didn't fare so well. I guess our beliefs were only based on legend. Huh. So it sounds like they were attacked and their gods couldn't protect them or something like that. I don't know. I'm really bad at, like, deciphering what's going on in the story, but whatever. Let's go on into here. Maybe we can finally find Yuffie. I'm guessing we'll... Um... We'll find the guy who was sleeping pretty soon. And we'll fall asleep without reading the text because I didn't realize this was a sleeping area. Well, that's kind of nice, though. Not used to sleeping on the floor, but you know what? That's okay, too. This is a very different region culturally, and we got to get to their customs. To their customs or something like that. Anyways, let's try here. Looks like there's some calligraphy on the ground. Can we do anything with it? It does not look like it. Can we read this? Nope. It does not look like it. There's the guy who is asleep, though. Anyways, let's go talk to him. Maybe our the sound of our awesome voice will make him wake up. After we are putting our crotch on his face to talk to him. Cloud, you gotta learn to keep your crotch away from people's faces when they're trying to sleep, man. Goo ga, what do you want? Don't have ga anything much, but you should be able to goo. Rest yourselves here. Goo ga, make yourselves at home. Um, I've already made myself at home. We kind of took a nap on in one of your other rooms, so. And we got a shining floor. Um, okay. Doesn't look like there's anything to do here, though. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. This, this shining, uh, sparkling floor is mysterious enough for sure. Maybe there's candles on it and it just looks like it's sparkling. I don't know. Anyways, I do like this music. It is very peaceful, which I do quite enjoy. Anyways, let's head into this, uh, we can't go in there. Anyways, let's go up to this five power godly thing, which I think is a five prong building or something like that. Five story pagoda. Yeah, the pagoda. We'll go into there. Yeah, let's go inside the pagoda. I do like pagodas. It sounds very tasty. I don't know. Pagoda sounds like a food more than anything else. Hello, sir. Dot, dot, dot. Those, those words of wisdom. Oh, man. Please tell me those words of wisdom again. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, oh, I fear, I feel spiritually revived after hearing those three dots. That is the greatest, most kind, most wisd wisdomly words I've ever heard of. Freeze! You aren't from Rutai, are you? Uh, obviously we are. Hey, I can't stand liars. Leave this tower at once. Well, I guess we can't lie to this guy. Do, do, do. Freeze! No, we are not. Only those from Wutai may enter the tower. I'll have to ask you to leave. Alrighty, so I'm guessing Yuffie is going to have to take care of that tower, given that it seems like she's from this area. The fact that the people here know her, so... We'll be back there for later. Now, first, though, we do need to find that conniving jerk who stole all of our materia. Anyways, let's go to the save points. And let's go onward this way. Maybe we'll find Yuffie this way. This is the only place we haven't been to yet, so... With a bunch of freaky stone statues that are kind of scary. Oh, well. Let's start going to the left here first. Onto the left hand of the gods. Oh, yeah. I have tamed the gods of Wutai. I am on their left hand. I am now pulsating with power. 
I was gonna say it looks like there's nothing here, but it turns out we do have random encounters here Unfortunately, I cannot take a look at what the heck these things are Without our sense materia, but you know what? That's okay. We'll just attack And get killed Slowly. Oh my god. I do think I'm a little overpowered, but you know what? That's all good. That's all good in the hood. We can be overpowered. Let's attack with Cloud. And with Kate Sith. There we go. Let's see how much experience we got here. Hopefully not. Hopefully a lot. 1320. Slots gained a limit break, and we get a fire veil and a lunar curtain. We'll take a look at those later. Fire Veil, I believe, is that fire attack we bought. I don't know what a Lunar Curtain is, but we'll take a look at that later. Actually, we will take a look at a Fire Veil right now. Um, you know what? I haven't used these items very much, but these should be very helpful without materials. We can't use magic attacks. Unfortunately, it didn't one-shot anything. Luckily, one more attack should be able to take them out. Attack with uh, Sid, and there we go. Thank God Cloud does so much damage with his uh, regular attack. So anyways, Sid's almost at level and we'll take our high potion. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can go up here now. And there's a split path here. So we'll take the split path first. Onto this hand. Oh my God, this guy is creepy. He's like looking at us with his mouth like kind of open. Like, I'm kind of scared he's going to eat us or something. But once again, there's nowhere to go here. Um, I can't... It doesn't look like we can jump onto the other hand there. But it does look like there's kind of a cave there. But that could just be the graphics of the area. So, I'm not quite sure. Let's just go around this guy's head and get into another battle. Dude, it's really creepy with this guy watching us while we fight. Dude, can you, like, close your eyes or turn around or something? I know you're a rock and you can't actually do that, but it is a bit creepy. Sid grew to level 35. Cloud is almost to level 38, and we'll take a bunch of X potions. I'm going to switch uh, Kate Sid's limit break to slots. I don't think we've seen that yet, so... I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, let's go this way. Down south first. Let's see if this is where... Another hand. And nowhere to go. That seems like it's kind of a waste of time, but you know what? You never know if there's going to be anything here. Anyways, there is a cave. With a item. A dra Dragoon Lance. Okay. Let's see who can equip that. I, maybe Cloud? Sid can equip it. That... Whoa! Okay, that significantly increases Sid's attack. It gives a lot of... Limit slots, which is kind of useless because we kind of don't have anything going on. Anyways, it looks like there might be some fire enemies, so I will give him the fire ring. Anyways, I thought I'd heal everyone up. Can we go through the fire? Whoa! Can't go through here. That flame would fry us in an instant. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, I think there's going to be some fire enemies, so it's probably good to have a character with the fire ring after we accidentally enter this area again. Now, let's go up here. On to the hand of peace. Okay, seriously, we're at the top of the thing. What the heck are we supposed to do here? I mean, I can't climb up it. Well, since it seems like there's really not a lot to do there, we're going to go and take a look at the town once again. It's kind of disappointing when there's really not a lot we can do. We do know Yuffie came down this way and was here, stole our MP material. I think that's the goal right now is to find Yuffie. Um, and I don't see why she would go up there to the uh, top of that mountain. So let's take a look over here once again. There we go. I found it. Okay. Yes. Anyways. I spoke to the guy right outside near uh, near the uh, building where we got that MP steel materia where Yuffie stole it. And he said that she likes to hide in the shadows. So I went back to Goto's, Gogo's house. And uh, yeah, it turns out there was that thing here. And speaking of which, 
this is probably Materia or a Magic Shuriken. Never mind. <laughs> I was for sure Yuffie was going to be there. But anyway, Shuriken is her weapon, so perhaps, and hopefully I'm not wrong here, perhaps she is back in this shiny room or something. Or not. I thought that there that we were making progress of finding where the heck Yuffie is because I want my materia back. It's kind of sad that I can't use magic. I can't power up my materia. It makes me very, very sad. So, I mean, at least we kind of have an idea of what we're, where we're supposed to find her though. It's just the problem is luring her out. You know what, how about the cat area? Maybe that's where what the guy meant by she hides into the shadows and busts um, up people's stuff. I don't know, um, I do find it weird that the same guy who told us about Goto, um, is telling us about Yuffie, but at the same time, it is kind of weird that I can't find her anywhere. I've been through all these houses, and we did get that item, don't go, don't go at three speed, you ain't going at three speed yet. He did say she, she hides in the shadows, though, so perhaps... Maybe she's in here? I don't know. Oh no! More weirdos! No, these aren't like the ones from a while ago. But these ones look weird too. Um, okay. That's kind of odd. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Barge into houses. What are we gonna do? Some strange looking girl came in here a minute ago and I... Okay. Found her! Oh my goodness! Dot 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 dot. Finally, gosh, that took forever. Okay, well, it's a chase. The chase is on. We're gonna find you. We're gonna hunt, hunt you out and... You ain't, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna go anywhere? Actually, I should've checked the, that house just in case she, like, went back in or something. Okay, anyways, now that we found her, she's got to be somewhere around this town. Hopefully, because she keeps hiding from us. Anyways, let's try the cat house again. Yeah. Wait. Never mind. I thought... Wait. Oh, no, that's a cat. I thought that, like, leg was Yuffie, but apparently not. Anyways, maybe she busted open this door? Again? No, she did not. Hmm. Oh. There we go. When the, the bu bucket's moving, or bottle, or whatever this is. Let's break it! Once more with feeling! Twice more with feeling! Now she can't escape. You can't get away, Yuffie. Oh, okay, I know. I was wrong. You win. I'll give you back your materia. Don't you think of trying to get away from us. Don't you think about getting away from us. Oh, great. The Shinra's here. So, our reports were right. He is here on vacation. We finally found him. Get the Turks here for back backup. What the drag? What, what, what was that? We're off duty now and can't save your butts. We knew you're off duty, but if you knew, then don't bother us. Looking at you is making me sober. Oh, I get that. I definitely get that. But you all have orders from headquarters to look for him too. Man, poor Turks trying to try, having to do stuff on vacation. All right, fine. We'll get him without any help from the Turks, just you see. And don't think that headquarters isn't going to hear about this. Reno, do you think that was really such a good idea? I mean, is that the way a professional, a Turk, would act? Elena, don't misunderstand. Those who sacrifice themselves for their job aren't pros, just fools. Yeah, I, I definitely understand that, that feeling. Rude? Dot, dot, dot. 
I just want to get drunk here, man. Well, I don't buy that. Goodbye. So, Elena's going to help out with them, but Rude and Reno aren't, uh, they're not, they don't exactly want to help when they're on vacation. Relax. She's not a child. Let her have her way. Righty, so it looks like we'll have to deal with Elena at some point. I know the material, right? I have it stored in a safe place. Fo follow me. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm having a hard time thinking we should be following you into your basement. Wherever the heck we are. Uh, looks like we can't leave. Yeah, I don't know. Your basement seems kind of sketchy here. I've been hearing that ever since I was little. Before I was born, Wutai was a lot more crowded and more impressive. You see, what it looks like now, right? Just a tourist trap. After the war, we got peace, but we lost something else. Now look at Wutai. That's why, if I had lots of materia, I could... Aww. Listen, Yuffie, I don't care about the history of Wutai or your feelings. In fact, I don't even care about you at all. I don't even like you very much. You've got our materia and I want it back, now. If you give it back now, we'll drop the whole thing. I know, I know that. That sniff, switch, the lever on the left, materia's pick in there. The switch on the left. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Um, what if I hit the right one? <gasps> This is probably a stupid idea. Oh, maybe we can't. Maybe we can't hit it. I don't know. I'm pressing the switch. It's... Do I dare? I dare. Whoa! Haha, <laughs> you should have listened. The material is mine. Tough. Oh my god, not this again. That was a terrible idea. You want your materia? Then go find it yourself. Yeah, that's right. And when you're looking for materia, remember, you gotta steal it. Hehe, <laughs> steal, steal, get it? <laughs> you're funny, Yuffie, I, I like that. See ya! Oh, God. Okay, I, I was, I, I had to know. I'm sorry, Sid, I'm sorry, Kate, Sid. Wait, they're still in our party, I don't know why. Uh, get back here, Yuffie! Hey, help us, please! Uh, fine. Do I have to? How do I even help you? There we go. Flip the left switch now. Oh, so it, it, you liar! Both of them were were tricks. I knew it was sketchy to go into your basement. You jerk, Yuffie. I don't even want you back in our party now. Uh, what a jerk. Oh well. Apparently we gotta go find it ourselves now. That's... Yep, that's where she lived. She lived in the house we couldn't get into. Go figure. Anyways, cats! I wanna do something with this room. I really do. Oh well, I guess if Yuffie's not here, she's not there. Anyways, uh, did she go back here? Nope. Anyways, I think we'll call it an episode for today. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Blind, we will find Yuffie and hopefully get our materia back. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Xenobolt. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more Final Fantasy VII Blind. See you in the next one. Goodbye.